Yes. Oh, Aubrey, watch out! Milky! Hey, farm fam! Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So, I am in the cow pasture right now. And my cows, oh, it's so bright, are right there. <laughs> It's very bright, I couldn't really see what I was doing. Okay, come on camera, come back, come back. Okay, so, now that that has passed, I am in the cow pasture because we have a lot to talk about with the cows today because my cows literally keep escaping and today we are going to do something about it because, well, moose, I wanna say cows because moose is the starter of the escaping. I don't know why we wouldn't think that he would be, but he definitely is always because he's always up to something. And then Joe and Al just like follow his lead and escape with him. So if you guys know Al is very skittish, so we definitely don't want him escaping. Joe and Moose, when they escape, at least they'll come back and they're very food motivated. Al will just leave and never come back. So we really need to get this figured out and how to get them to stop escaping. Hello. It's time we have a meeting, you guys. Guys, if you think these cows need to stop escaping, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up right now because we need to have a talking with them because this mastermind keeps escaping. Stop escaping. Joe Beans, why do you want to leave? Is that tasty? Why do you want to leave? Come here, Chin. Come here, Chin. Good boy. Whoa! Albie, you don't want to go anywhere, do you? No, you don't. <laughs> Hi. Cute cow nose. Oh my gosh, you're breathing so hard into my camera. So, we have this white fencing that we got with the house, and as you can see what Moose is trying to do is something he's not supposed to do, and this is why he's a bad cow. So, Jolene does this as well. Um, Al doesn't do this often, but Joe and Moose do this, and Moose really wants to break out of this right now, as you can see. Hi, buddy. And we have all this nice, fresh, new grass growing because it's been raining like crazy. That's their salt block over there that has gaping holes from their tongues licking it. Stop being bad. So this is the issue. This is what Moose does. Moose is crazy or just crazy obsessed with me or just really wants the grass over here. I don't know what's going on lately, but he's doing this and it's pushing out all of these. So, he escaped the other day though, and actually, for instance, he broke this one and this one, so these were gone, and if we see, this gate is open right here, so, Moosey, hi little girl, so Moose knocked this one down and this one down, and then I woke up, and <laughs> Moose was right there, and I saw him through my bedroom window, which I'll kind of Plane. Hold on, let's see. So, my slider's right there, and I saw him right here. He was mooing at me, and I was like, oh my gosh, how is he in the backyard? Because the gate, the only gate technically that we have, like from the backyard to the cow pasture, is right there, and that was shut closed. And then I came out here, and this gate was open, but I was still like, okay, how did he get in? And he came in through because he busted out these two panels. So I literally had to run with feed to get him back in. And Joe was also out here. And Albie, who was over there, he was also out. But luckily, he like ran back through. And I grabbed feed and I ran <laughs> through this way into here and saved the day. So, as you can see, these posts are down. And he knocks them down. And this is how he escapes. And then the cows follow suit. Thanks a lot, Moosey. So this is basically how we have to <laughs> fix it. So we have to put them back in here. So these are the little white screws that we're putting in so they still match the fence, but it's just not letting the dirty posts here <laughs> um, come out. Here we go. So, Moose is over here now, and he is really food motivated, but this happened the other day as well, where the same thing happened. So I have some hay, and he sees it. Come on, Moose! Oh. 
Okay, I'm exhausted. Luckily, Moose is very food motivated, like I said. So, yeah, we really need to get a gate. So, Mike has basically put screws now in all of the posts. So, this is really good because they cannot escape now. So, all the posts have screws, but we are going to track to supply really quickly because we actually don't have like a front gate um, at our house. So I'm walking down to the front here to show you guys. So at our old house, we had a front gate, but this house, we don't have one, but we did want to put one. We just didn't know if we were going to put one in like right away, but now we kind of want to because if they do get out, we'll have a gate. So I'll show you. So this is the old owner used to have a gate from this tree to this tree. So if you see like there's actually a chain right here around this tree that we have to take off because it will probably kill the tree. And then they would hook it to here. But we are actually going to hang the gate probably like right here to here. So we'll have this much of the property still that you can like pull into. And then the gate. So we're going to get a 12 foot gate. So we need to go to tractor supply now. So we are leaving to go get the gate. So they are running towards us because they don't want us to go. Oh, there they go. All right, you guys, we are at our local neighborhood tractor supply going to get a gate. This is the whole gate section, but I did say before that we were getting a 12 foot gate, but we remeasured before we left. So we're trying to figure out if they have a 14 foot gate. So I think we're gonna get this kind of like navy bluish 14 foot gate. Guys, there's That's one messy. chick left in this little brooder and I'm gonna see if they're gonna let me buy it. Usually you have to buy like three or more, but I'm gonna ask because he's all alone. I'm gonna call it a she because we always want she's, but. They have more chicks over here. They're just a different breed. So I'm gonna see if they just want me buy this little guy and we can take him out. Guys, so I'm at the register and I just asked them if we can buy the one chicken. and Well, the chick, and they're gonna let me buy the chick. So um, we were checking out for the gate, but he's going to get the chick right now. So, a chick in process. Guys, do you see the little thing? So cute. I can't believe they only let me buy this one. Usually they have a minimum, like I said, but I said it was all alone. Can I please buy this one? And he let me. So now, um, as you guys know, I have two broody hens that are sitting on babies. So I need to decide which one this little baby will go under. I actually don't have any of this breed of chick. So this is the little chick. Um, and I was just looking at it. It's okay, baby. All right, you guys. So we are in Home Depot. And now we need to get some stuff to get the gates put onto. So we're going to get six by sixes. We're going to get two of them. One of them. So we just need one of these long posts so we have the eight foot post now we need some concrete Mike's gonna get the concrete and I'm going to paint the post white so I'm getting this giant can of spray paint all right you guys I'm in the chicken coop there's my one broody mama that has one baby underneath her right now that's Bertha, and then we have Ethel, and she has two chicks, so I'm actually gonna give the chick to Bertha, but we are refilling the feeder and waters right now. So that's what we're working on. We have this chick starter, and it's medicated. And see, the baby is about just the same size as this little chick, so this should be perfect. Nice flip. There you go. All right, so this little baby. So cute. All right, I have a baby. So that chick's a little bit bigger than it. Look how cute. It's a little baby, aw. So Mike is just filling up this little baby's water. Um, but before we go to bed tonight, we are just going to need to make sure that she knows to go under the mama because she's never had a mom before. So we'll just need to make sure. And she has a new little home. She is so cute. 
So it seems everybody wants to escape today because Spirit is over here with the cows. Oh, Aubrey, watch out! Mousy! Oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> so, uh, guys, I think I have that on film. What you guys just heard is because Moose just jumped on Aubrey while I was talking about Spirit. And Aubrey is the owner of the horses that are here with us. So that was just crazy. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Escaping and jumping on people. All right, you guys, now that all that craziness is over and done with, it is actually time to go install the gate. The sun is going to set, we just fed, but now we're gonna walk down to install the gate. All right, you guys, so this is where we are gonna put the gate. Moosey has decided to join us to see why we're putting a gate, but it's because of you, Moose, so gate is in the works. All right, you guys, so, Mike, what are we doing right here? We're gonna dig our hole for our new gate post. Okay, so he's gonna use the auger, and if you guys have a farm or build fences like we do sort of a lotish, um, you definitely need an auger. This is me creating holes a lot easier. So we're gonna try to put our big six by six that we bought right next to this fence post so it looks like it was supposed to be there. Let's watch Mike do the work. So we have had a ton of rain. So the dirt, as I was saying, we have had a ton of rain, so the dirt is like really moist. we need looks like a big animal hole like something just crawled out of it <laughs> yay we have the hole moose is coming to check and see if the hole digging is going well yes moose the digging for the hole is going well it's very interested and in why we are making him stay here why do you want to leave us moose so yeah, basically my cow has successfully broken out of the fence. Hey, leave that alone. You don't know how to use it. And he has also, okay, he's looking at it, and he has also attacked my friend today. So uh, Moose is definitely winning at life right now. He got us to install a fence that we needed to do, I guess. Anyways, hey, hey, hey. Why are you such a menace, Moosey? <gasps> oh my gosh, I got it. Moose the menace. The hole is being made deeper. It's very hard to see. All right, Mike says it might be good, so might be good. Guys, look at this sun setting. It's so pretty in these trees. This is like my favorite thing about the view. Time for the post to go in. So the post is in. It's looking really good. Yay! And it's right up against the fence like I wanted. We are leveling the post. So right there, it is level, nice, straight up and down. We love a good level post out here. Nice and level. Now I'm holding the fence post. I'm doing my part here, people. <laughs> we are slowly losing daylight. But we should be able to get it done. And we have our little buddy Moose over there making sure we get it done. And Albie and Joe are over there coming up slowly. And now we fill in the hole. All right, you guys, it is concrete time. So we are just pouring the bag of concrete in there, and this is concrete if anyone cares, that you don't have to pre-mix, you just put this in the hole and then you fill water in it, and voila, concrete. And we brought some water up, or I should say down from up by the house. Have to make sure you get a good ratio. This is 101 of concrete. Then you do this to try and get the air bubbles out of the concrete. If you can see the bubbles coming up, cool. When I do that, 
That's getting the air bubbles out and it lets the water get down into the concrete mix. Very neat. The more you know. So we got the first bit of air bubbles out. Now we have added more concrete to get a nice mixture. And my little cow friends have all ventured over here. Moosey! Moose! See, he knows his name. I'm not even kidding. I say moose a couple of times and here he comes. I've never met a cow that literally knows their name. So weird. I don't even think he thinks he's, or knows he's a cow. Are we doing it right, Moose? Are we doing it right? Making sure everything's going good with the new addition. <laughs> oh, oh, and look at here, another culprit of why these things bust out, but is not busting out because we have screwed them. That's exactly what happened. Look at that big belly on her, little chunky girl. All right, you guys, so this is concreted now. Now we just have to wait basically like 24 hours for it to set before we can put the gate on, but I wanna show you what it's gonna look like. All right, you guys, so this is basically the gate just like freestanding, but this is what it's gonna look like. It looks super cute, so I'm happy about this. But then eventually we're gonna get like the big, my hand's not even in anymore, like it goes like this and then like this um, to put like our little farm name on it. So that'll be super cute, but this is just for now and I really like it. All right, you guys, so now I have my like giant thing of spray paint. Look at how big this is. I really wanted to buy this once before, but I never had like a project that I needed something this big. I probably still don't even need something like this big, but I just figured it's a fence post. Let's get the big one. So this is just a little detail I wanted to do. Oh, it has a cool nozzle. Whoa, this thing is so cool. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's like a pressure washer. That is neat. Oh my gosh, look at those clouds back there. Yep, we're getting a rainstorm. This needs to go on and dry, but look at how different it already looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if this is gonna pick up, but look right there. <laughs> a domino and one of the black cats just strolling out together. That's so funny. Let's see if we can get them up here. Meow meows! Look at this storm is brewing. All right, you guys, first coat is done. We'll do a second coat tomorrow, but I'm super happy how it looks. So yeah, this video has turned into basically about a whole gate because my little sneaky cow wants to escape. <laughs> so I am out in the back here and we're gonna open up the horse's stalls because it's gonna rain. Hi! He's so sweet, my pretty boy. Little Cashy's out. Trigger, you have hay in your mane. Uh-oh. Guys, look at Cash's coat. It's like so shiny right now and he's putting on a lot more weight. He's still a little bit ribbier than I would like him to be um, from getting him back home and being able to control his diet now. But I'm super happy with how he's starting to look and oh my gosh, is this real life? Trigger's actually being nice to him. Wow. That's crazy. Well, okay then, we won't question that. Trigger usually does not let anybody in his stall with him. All right, you guys, so it's literally drizzling. It's about to rain. We have a huge storm brewing. I almost like love in Florida when it gets like this because it's like really cool. Anyways, besides the point, so yeah, my cow literally escaped today and he's been so crazy lately. I don't know what his deal is. He's been absolutely nuts and I actually had a dream that he was being crazy too and but like I don't know the dream was like he was like a legacy cow anyways doesn't matter but if you guys like today's vlog don't forget to give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel down below make sure you turn on that post notification so you have a chance for my next post notification shout out and today's shout out goes to and I'm actually gonna pop two up on the screen because I forgot the last one in my last video are right, you guys I love you and I'll see you in the next one